Right. Um, so you can go back, right? First of all, where, it's, where you've got the colon there, that's like a form of uh, commenting. So you can see that and then purpose of run scripts. Um, so you can just comment things out if you need to like that or just add lines in there, which I assume you guys are going to do just to make sure you understand what's happening later on. Um, yeah. So purpose ID, that's fine. Factor, leave that as one. Um, there's CAD name. So this is whatever your CAD name is. That's what it needs to be. Um, leave this as is. It'll pretty much just import. It'll start a script, right? And the, the syntax is generally, if, if this thing is used, it'll go file, start script, and this tilde A will reference this file name, and the file name will be whatever's in quotations here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, got, do you understand a little bit of coding to come through this as well? Oh, yeah, very basic. Basic, that's fine. That's all you need. Um, it's just what happens is that because this is a string, this is a, this is a file name that refer references a string. If you don't do this specific format, it just won't input the correct name. Okay. Right? Yo, um, John, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you need the file extension on that? I didn't. I didn't get you there, mate. Do you need the file extension on that? Uh, no, you don't, because later on you can see uh, where I've just highlighted the text. I haven't highlighted the text. Highlighted the text right now. Yep. Dot sc dot get. Yeah, yeah. So all you need is a tilde a. So it'll pretty much go tilde a. It'll go all right. Tilde a means file name, and then dot sc doc. Okay. Right. So you don't need the file name there. Um, the name selections that I've created for this particular case are the ones stated up here. So those are the only things that will actually make sense later on. right? Mm -hmm. So if you need to improve, move things around or muck around with them, just keep the name selections in mind. Again, you guys can muck around with the script and change them if it needs to be. Um, you've got maximum global and minimum sizings. Change that to 200. Proximity sizings as well. right? Is so that that's just... Yeah. Sorry, mate. Say that again. Those min and maximum millimeters, right? Yeah, exactly. Everything's in millimeters in this particular case. Um, I've got wing sizing. I don't have wing sizing for the front and rear wing because they're the same. Okay. Um, right. Diffuser sizing, which is exactly the same. So I'll change that probably to like 20 mil. Um, rod sizing. So rod sizing is just because um, there are certain rods that you just wanted to have a certain sizing. You don't want it to be very fine because you don't care. But if they're too coarse, they just won't be look like a rod. Simply as that. Mm -hmm. Cool. The stand is just where the stand is at the bottom. Cool. Um, the wheel is just the wheel, so you know that'll that'll be fine. And then the car as well, so that's just the car. Um, normal. I've changed the normal angle in this particular thing to nine. But if you don't want to do that, um, you can comment it out using that, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, let's add 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 something at the top. Just saying um, uh, means. Cool. That means comment section. Mm -hmm. right. um, I've got three bodies of influence. I've called them F, N, and W. So far, near, wake, column one, two, three, whatever you want, just something that makes sense. Right. And it's 50 mil, 20, 10. Um, inflation is the same thing. And then there's two lots of inflation, one on the car and then one on the ground. Right. So ideally, you'd pretty much want to say, if anything, you just change that number and it'll update itself. You don't do anything else. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right, beta fiction beta features is just used because you've got a poly hex score, which is currently a beta in 19. Right, um, it'll then import this thing in. Right, so it'll just file import. Cool. Yep. Yep. The that first line uh, just saves a PMBD, which is just a quicker file format later on to import mm -hmm. in. Right, it does your size functions, BOI, and then it does all the size functions for your name selections. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I'd suggest is going through and just writing like syntax at the top that says what the what the actual um the what these things mean. So there, create edge zone, you know, face. So that's actually a name. Proximity is just whatever whatever type of function it is. This is the type of zone, and then yes and no will reference something as well. Okay, um, right. I've been doing it for a while, so I kind of just get it. But for you guys that are starting off, that's something that that'll be smart for you guys to do. Cool. Yeah. Yep. If I'm going too fast, by the way, let me know. I'll, I'll slow down. Um, and then pretty much it'll then create the mesh. It'll compute it. It'll re-import it. Um, I wouldn't worry about these these functions too much. If they start to cause errors, give me a buzz. Um, it does imp quality improvements, so it improves the mesh as much as it can. Generally, you want to make a surface mesh the like the possible best that you can. It makes inflation and everything down the line just a lot easier. 
Mm -hmm. which is why there's just so many elements in here, so many kind of sections in here. Um, but you can generally see, right, it's just, it's looking into diagnostics, finding quality, general improve is just a function to improve the general mesh. Um, EN is just enclosure because the name selection for the enclosure is just called enclosure, right? Um, yep. Skewness, so it's looking, it's looking at the skewness of the elements and it's pretty much saying if it's above 0 0.8, I want you to um, improve it. Cool? Mm-hmm. Um, doing the same, 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 and then volume meshes it. Um, you've got your prisms here, so it creates your prism layers. So let's just actually add that. Um, I'm not going to add here, but you're pretty much, oh, that's not correct. Um, you're adding inflation elements here. Cool. And then you're making your polyhex core here. Right, mm -hmm. um, and then you're improving the surface, the quality mesh. So if there are any really bad elements, uh, it's just improving them. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's then scaling them down, preparing for solve. It's writing the mesh out for debugging. So if you're if you're running multiple cases, you don't need to do this. This is just for debugging purposes. Yeah. Okay, um, and then switching to solution again in the Fluent Solver, it doesn't take all the name selections from the Fluent Mesher. So you'll have to redefine your air speeds, number of iterations. Um, these two things need to be redefined as well, mesh study and file name factor, like a file mm -hmm. name and the study. Um, and you've got functions for your, your front wheel and rear wheel to figure out the positions, right? Um, you can see as well, there's an XYZ position that might change depending on how you guys set your CAD function up. Because I know mm -hmm. whatever you guys do, you guys do. And then the rest of it is just pretty much setting stuff up as normal. So curvature correction, KWS, um, KMega SST, um, that's just something that comes through as normal. You can see there's a symmetry condition here. Um, and then these are actual boundary conditions as well. Right, we've got wall, grounds, inlets, and uh, wheels. Right, so you can then start to improve it and have multiple wheels. Um, this just uses, I just go back and, and just try them. Uh, this is used a coupled pressure velocity coupler, pseudo transient, um, it enables all these things and just starts to run it. Mm -hmm. right. You may not need these. These make them all first order, which is more reliable, but it'll take longer to run. You guys can experiment with that later. Makes a bunch of reports, writes it out, uh, initializes it. Um, this this function here, um, iterate with benchmark. Um, the, that other the benchmark file is just another scheme file. Um, the benefit of that, it just simply tells you at the end how long it took. So when you're debugging, you can just use that to figure out how long different meshes are taking. Right. It'll give you a result in seconds, right? So you can just check it out. Creates a bunch of reports. This pretty much tells you how much RAM and uh, how much RAM was used, this function here, right? Writes it out, um, add, a, add a something to close the transcript. I've forgotten to add that. And then it exit it, so it will close Fluent straight away. Right? Cool. Cool. All right. So going to the very top, just a couple of things to keep in mind are the name selections. Um, so front wing, rear wing, uh, wheels, da, da, da. Um, so these are name selections on uh, body. Um, let's just add one for volume selections. Um, so like I was saying before, I've got BOI-F, BOI-N, and BOI-W, um, and also enclosure. Right? So that enclosure is just the enclosure that's created. Mm -hmm. cool. um, so these are things that you guys are going to need, or, or you change the script, whichever works for you. All right? I'm just cool. going to save that. Um, and then obviously you just save it as is. Save it, save different ones. Um, 